In this video, I'm going to show you my top DaVinci Resolve keyboard shortcuts for faster editing. What's up party people, back at it again with another tutorial and in a moment we're going to go into DaVinci Resolve so I could show you what these keyboard shortcuts do. First thing I want to mention is I'm going to have an image displayed on screen showing which key I'm hitting for the shortcut. I also want to point out that all the keys I'll be hitting are on the left hand side of the keyboard and I'll explain why by the end of this video. What I'm about to show you is available for both DaVinci Resolve and Premiere Pro. In fact, I customized my DaVinci Resolve shortcut keys to match identically what I used in Premiere Pro to speed up my skill acquisition for DaVinci because eventually I am going to leave Adobe Creative Cloud as a whole. My reasons for doing so can be discussed in another video, but for now, let's get through these shortcuts. This trims off the part of the selected clip that is to the left of the playhead. So if I want to cut here and I hit my keyboard shortcut, it chops off everything to the left and everything to the right still remains. The portion of the clip that's to the right of the playhead will be trimmed off. These two shortcuts save so much time when compared to using the blade or razor tool. Normally, you'd use the playhead to scrub through the timeline to find the frame where you want the cut made. Then you'd go and select the blade tool and then finally select the unwanted portion and delete it. But now we've condensed all that to hitting one key. This combines two or more clips together to create one new clip. This new clip can now be treated just like any other clip. This is useful if you don't want to modify any effect parameters clip by clip. You can just compound all your clips into one, do what you gotta do, and they'll all have the same changes. This selects everything on the timeline that is to the right of the playhead. Let's say you want to move this half of the edit over. Normally, you'd have to zoom out, lasso everything, and then move it over. But with this shortcut, all you have to do is place the playhead where you want the split, then hit the shortcut key and just slide everything over. This will enable or disable snapping. When snapping is turned on and you're moving your clip around, the clip will snap to certain areas that the program is predicting it should go. This is useful when you don't want to manually line everything up. All you have to do is get it close enough and it'll snap into place. Sometimes the snapping doesn't allow you to do the finer adjustments because it's just snapping into place. When you turn snapping off, now your clip moves around freely and you can place it wherever you want. This one's easy, whatever clip or clips you have selected, it'll get deleted. Normally, you'd have to go up here and scroll left and right to zoom in or out. But too often, you'll overshoot it and you just keep going back and forth until it's just right. Skip all that and just give the shortcuts a few taps to zoom in or out. I use Z for zoom in and G for zoom out. Normally to cut into a clip, you'd go to the blade tool, click it, and then go over to your clip, and then click again to make that cut. The split clip shortcut uses the playhead as the blade tool and makes the cut for you. Instead of right clicking and finding the copy option, then pasting what you copied, just hold Alt, click on the clip you want to copy, and drag it to the desired spot. This duplicates your selected clip while pasting it once you release the hold on your mouse. Now, as I mentioned before, all the keyboard shortcuts are on the left-hand side of the keyboard. And the reason for that is it saves time from keyboard shortcuts that would require reaching across the keyboard in order to perform an application. I mean, we're only talking about seconds here, but if you're performing the same task over and over again, those seconds add up big time. In the description below, I listed the names of the shortcuts for Premiere Pro for you Adobe users. If you want to continue learning about shooting and editing, click right here to subscribe to my channel and keep up with my videos. This is Kevin Mendoza, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.